welcome back to my channel and if you are new here welcome today's video is my five tips on how to feel less anxious just to put a disclaimer out there i'm not a professional i'm not trained in this these have just helped me so hopefully they will help someone else out there <laughs> before we get started i'm going to give you two seconds of me not talking so you don't have to pause the video to subscribe Great, thank you for subscribing, welcome. <laughs> if you do enjoy this video, please like and leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get started. So my first tip is having an easy routine. Now, this is not to set a routine of everything you need to do in the day, because sometimes I think that can actually have the opposite effect and make you feel anxious if you don't do those steps. But the things I find that have helped me is I've got a cat, so I ha have to wake up and feed her in the morning. In my cat has definitely helped me get out of bed, especially on a weekend if I don't have work to go to, and just get my morning going. Um, I'd also say, a nighttime routine so whether you have a shower before you go to bed or you do certain things to help you relax I will be doing another video on my five tips on how to sleep better keep an eye out do that notification bell <laughs> so you will get a video about that as well sometimes I could just lay in bed and think, oh, I don't want to do that I don't want to get out but making sure you do those things even so small as in like brushing your teeth or brushing like I don't know, cleaning the kitchen side. <laughs> it seems silly, but just a tiny, tiny switch around something you do every day makes you feel less anxious. I mean, it's definitely helped me. My second tip is having enough sleep. Now, I wish I was that person that could go to sleep at two and wake up at seven, but I can't, I actually can't. And I have found in my life that me not getting enough sleep makes me more anxious i'm more emotional and when my emotions are heightened then i get more stressed about things the more i get stressed the more anxious i get so making sure that i have that amount of sleep now it's different for every person obviously i think they like the government suggests to have like eight to ten hours sleep might have made that up i don't know <laughs> i think i normally go to bed about half as 10 and woke up well, I wake up at six and then I snooze my alarm till seven, so I'm probably not the best example. But just having that enough sleep for your body, which you know that doesn't make you feel anxious that day, does definitely help. So although you want to finish that series or you want to watch another episode, just think, actually, if I get a good enough sleep tonight, I'm going to feel better in the morning. Number three <laughs> is sitting with your feelings. Now, this sounds scary. It sounded scary to me. From my experience, my anxiety stemmed from having that uncomfortable feeling. So I hated that feeling in my belly where I'd have knots and I'd, I just didn't want, I didn't want to think about it. I wanted to do everything that would take me away from that feeling so I didn't have to feel like that. Having professional advice and people saying to me, if you run away from it, it's not gonna disappear. That feeling is not gonna disappear. You need to learn how to deal with it. I used to, um, I, I do it without even realizing now, but when I was trying to make myself sit with my feelings, if I feel uncomfortable, I would literally sit down on the bed and sit there for however long it took for that knot or that uncomfortable feeling to go down. The more I sat with it, the quicker it took for the feeling to go away. It helped me in not feeling fear towards that feeling and it was okay. It was okay to feel that feeling because it was gonna go. My fourth tip, now I have definitely been putting this into practice in 2021. I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> I've been putting that into practice this year. <laughs> a lot of things in work or in life made me feel anxious to the fact that I would stop doing it. And even with work, if it was a simple task, so I work in admin, and if it was a simple task, as in putting information into the computer, I would feel anxious about that. But it sounds silly to say, but because I felt anxious about it, I didn't want to do it. So I would, I wouldn't do that, I wouldn't put that information in, but that's my job, so why am I not putting that information into the computer? I sit there and I think, if I didn't get anxious about this, if I was a person that did not get anxious, how would I feel? So I sit there and I feel that feeling of not feeling anxious at all, 
and it's so much easier to do that task and then I don't feel anxious about it. I know that sounds, I don't know if that sounds stupid or like a really easy thing to say, I don't know, but I haven't thought of it before and it has really, really helped me. You feel like it's almost like a weight is lifted off your shoulders because you're waiting for that anxious feeling because you know it's coming, you know you normally get anxious about this thing. Thinking to yourself, if I did not feel anxious about this, how would I feel? You think, right, I'd be relaxed. I'd be fine about putting this information in. I'd probably put this information in without even thinking about it, without even second guessing. And that is eventually how you feel because you're not thinking about feeling anxious. You're thinking about feeling not anxious. <laughs> I don't know how else to explain it, but I would definitely, if you do feel anxious about anything, try that. So my fifth tip, my final tip <laughs> is do what is right for you. So do what makes you happy. In school, in college, the thing to do was to go to parties. Go to parties, have parties when we could. Oh, can't now. <laughs> but go to house parties, do all these things because every, everybody else is doing that. Parties used to make me feel anxious and I never used to go. Looking back on that, I think if I wasn't happy, going to that party, I don't need to go. There's not a rule that says when you're 16, 17, 18, you need to go out clubbing, you need to go to a party. You don't, you don't. And if it doesn't make you happy, why are you doing it? Do it once. And then if you don't feel happy, don't do it. Instead, I spend time with my family, friends. I love a night in, girly nights. I love things like that. Even a pamper evening, like I'm really not that bothered I think during lockdown, and now we can't go out, it makes me want to go out more. But I never used to go out that much. Having anxiety, people say, push yourself out of your comfort zone. You'll feel better, you'll feel better. But if you know that that is what's making you anxious, you don't have to do it. You don't have to go out to a party. You don't have to go shopping. You don't have to do anything. Nobody is telling you have to do something. When I felt better in myself, and I felt less anxious, going out to a party or going out clubbing didn't make me anxious because I dealt with my feelings, I did stuff that made me happy, and once you do stuff that makes you happy, it feeds your soul, you get loads more things make you happy, and then you're not worrying about most things. So just do what makes you happy because then you'll feel less anxious. <laughs> I hope these tips have actually helped someone out there because they have helped me. And yes, in my next video, we will be talking about um, tips on how to sleep better um, because I struggled with that before and now I my head is on the pillow and I'm gone. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed my video and if you did enjoy it don't forget to subscribe and like and comment and yeah have a lovely day what a wonderful